In the past 48 hours alone, DHS Secretary Kirsten Nielsen was harassed and chased out of a D.C. restaurant. A Florida man was arrested for threatening to kill a GOP congressman's small children. Antifa released a hit list of ICE agents and all their personal information, and a Hollywood celebrity said that Nielsen should be publicly assaulted and that 12-year-old Baron Trump should be locked in a cage with child rapists. All because the media has decided to lie repeatedly about what is happening at our southern border. It's going to get someone killed, and they don't care. Hey guys, you're watching Reality Check on MRC TV. I'm Brittany Hughes, and a Florida man was arrested on Tuesday after reportedly calling Florida Congressman Brian Mast's office and threatening to kill his three young children all in retaliation for Trump's border policies. DHS Secretary Kirsten Nielsen was harassed and forced out of a Mexican restaurant in Washington, D.C. by a group of rioters upset that she's simply doing her job. Over in Hollywood, Hanoi Jane's brother, Peter Fonda, tweeted that Nielsen should be publicly stripped naked, raped, and beaten in the streets and that 12-year-old Baron Trump should be locked in a cage with child rapists. He also encouraged his followers to wait for ICE agents' kids to get out of school and, quote, scare the shit out of them. And even after all of these threats, the media still is not backing down from the gasoline that they're throwing on this totally concocted fire. ABC reported on Thursday that Trump had said during a rally that we're sending immigrants the hell back. Never mind that he was talking specifically about MS-13 at the time. Never mind that this is the same mistake they just made a few weeks ago when they wrongly accused him of calling all immigrants animals. Never mind the facts. They've used photos of kids in detention centers taken back during the Obama administration and said they were from yesterday. They've ignored that these same practices were being carried out during the last administration and the Bush years and the Clinton years. They've openly accused Trump of putting kids in Nazi concentration camps. This photo that you've seen of a kid crying in a cage that's been blasted out all over the networks, it was staged. Here's where this little boy was standing at the time, in the middle of an anti-Trump protest. Don't believe me? Look up the local news reports that finally figured it out. And it only gets more and more shameless. Justin Miller with the Daily Beast tweeted this Thursday that the Trump administration is torturing children suspected of being MS-13. He based his claim on lawsuits that were filed back in 2015 and 2016 under Obama. He's lying and he does not care. At this rate, the media is going to get someone killed. Just last week, we commemorated the one-year anniversary of a shooter who targeted GOP lawmakers at a baseball game because he hated their politics. Congressman Steve Scalise almost lost his life that day, and here we are a year later watching his left-wing pundits fuel the fires of hatred based on outright lies. They hate this president. They will lie if it means trashing him, and they do not care if this ginned-up hysteria leaves bodies in the streets. And that is your Reality Check America. Make sure that you like us on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there. <laughs>